In both SolidWorks and Creel Parametric, you can create a mirrored version of a part. Let's see how to do that first in SolidWorks. I've got my part open. First, I'm going to select a plane that I want to mirror about, and then we will go to the Insert menu, and if we scroll down about halfway down, here we have the Mirror Part command. I will click on it, and that opens up a new part window. Here you can see that we have the insert part menu. I've got a bunch of things checked in here. Let's say that we don't want axes. We can uncheck that. You can uncheck surface bodies, but you see a bunch of the other different options like coordinate systems, model dimensions, and so on. If you scroll further down, underneath link, you have the option to break the link to the original part. And by the way, this is called a derived part because this is a part that's created from another part, but you can use that option to make it independent from the original part. Also underneath visual properties, you can propagate any visual properties like appearances applied to surfaces from the original part as well. But I am happy with the selections in here. Let's hit the check mark in order to complete the operation. When I do that, I get an error because the template that I have for creating new models is in a different set of units than what we have from the original part. So I'm going to say, yes, let's change the units of the derived part to the units of the base part. And now it is processing. You can see because I copied the planes over, we end up with a lot of clutter on the computer screen. In the tree, you can see that we have the part located inside of our tree. I can expand that, and here we have our different planes. I'm going to use the Shift key in order to select them and then hide them from the pop-up menu. So this is the mirrored part, and it might be a little hard to tell that this one is mirrored. I'm gonna start off by saving this one, and let me save it in a different folder. Let me rename this. This is my cylinder head mirror, and hit the Enter key. And now I'm gonna go over to another, oops, thought I had another assembly open. Let's create an assembly real quick. I'll choose File, New, Assembly, and then click the OK button. And I'm gonna start off by bringing in the original cylinder head part. Let's drop it in here. And then let's insert another component. I'm gonna grab the mirror version of it, and let's put it right about over here. And you can see visually that we do have uh, a mirror of one another. To make that a little easier to see, I'm going to throw in a few different mates. So let's mate, say, this surface and this surface. And let's hit the check mark and then let's move them apart a little bit. And then I am going to select this surface and this surface to mate and then hit the check mark and let's get out of there. But now it should be a little easier for you to see that these two parts are indeed the mirrored versions of one another. And so that's how you do it in SolidWorks. Let's jump over to Creo Parametric to see the same thing. All right, I've got the same part open in Creo Parametric. To create the mirror, you're going to go to the File menu and then Save As, and here we have the Mirror Part option. When I click on it, we get the Mirror Part dialog box. Here we can change the name of it. I'm going to call this my Cylinder Head Mirror, and you can change the common name if you want. Here underneath Mirror, we have the option for either Geometry Only or Geometry with features. So if I choose geometry only, I'm going to have a single feature in the model tree. If I choose geometry with features, well, then I'm going to get the entire model tree and I can modify the individual features. You'll notice that when I have geometry with features selected, we do not have dependency control. But if you have geometry only, there you have the option for geometry dependent. So if the original changes, do you want the mirrored version to change as well? And here is a preview button. Ah, let's go to, I'll choose geometry with features and then click the OK button. And we see some processing going on. 
And here we have the mirrored version of the part. Let's jump over to an assembly that already has the original cylinder head in it. Let me choose the assemble button and I'm going to use in session just to get to the mirrored version quickly. And just want to again just assemble it a little bit just so that we can see what is similar or what's been mirrored between them. And so just taking a look at this, let me use the 3D dragger to spin it around. And let's pick this surface and this surface for a coincident constraint and just use this surface and this surface over there. And just gonna eyeball it, drag it, move them apart a little bit. That's good enough for the purpose of this. And let me turn off my datum plane display. And so now you can see that yes, indeed, the parts are the mirrored versions of one another. I want to show you one other thing over here. Let me select that part that I mirrored and brought in, and I'm going to hide it. And let's turn the datum plane display back on. Here we have this plane over here. You'll notice when I did the mirror part command from the file save as menu, I did not have to select what I wanted to mirror about. And it took me a while to get my head around this but when you mirror something, it's kind of the same regardless of the plane that you want to mirror about. But in addition to that file save as mirror part command, if you take a look in the ribbon, in Creo Parametric, you also have a mirror component command. And when I click on that, well, since I'm mirroring in the context of an assembly, first I'm going to select the part that I want to mirror. Here we can choose the plane that we want to use for the mirror command. And then we have the option to create a new component or reuse the selected component. If you want to reuse the selected model, if you know that you have symmetry, well, you can choose that option. But you also have the ability here to perform what's called a symmetry analysis to see if you actually do have symmetry in your part. And let me expand the plus sign underneath the options. Here we are reusing symmetric components, and you can choose the elements that you want to consider, not just the solids, but you can say, hey, are my quilts and my datums and my curves also symmetric? But I'm not going to use the symmetry analysis. We're going to create a new model, and I'll just call this the cylinder head mirror 2. And I'm not going to bother changing the common name. Here we also have the options for geometry only or geometry with features. If I choose geometry only, here we have geometry dependent and placement dependent that we can check. So if I change the original, will I get the new part to update? And also if I move the original part, are we going to get the mirrored part to update its location as well. But let's just choose geometry with features. Hey, let's choose placement dependent as well. You can preview it if you want, but I will just click the OK button. And let me turn off my datum plane display. So there you have it, a couple different ways in which you can create a mirrored version of a part in Creo Parametric. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.